You can hear, you can see, hallelujah. You bring warning, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Give him glory. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Come on, tonight we're focused on getting every distraction out of the way. Every distraction out of the way. Every thought that will try to raise itself up against the word of the Lord is demolished right now before we begin in the name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 hallelujah. At the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Every distraction flees, hallelujah. Sickness has to go. I speak to headaches right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, that stress will no longer cause headaches and anxiety in the name of Jesus. I speak to stomach aches and stomach pains right now in the name of Jesus. Stress will no longer cause you pain in your abdominal areas in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I speak to neck pain right now in the name of Jesus. Come on. Stress has got to go. Hallelujah. The Lord desires that we are free. We are free. We are free to reign. Free to rule. Hallelujah. Free to confess his glory. Hallelujah. Free to project. Hallelujah, his glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody say, look out, devil. I'm not backing down. Hallelujah. I'm not slowing down. I know too much. Hallelujah. I know too much about him. He's done too much for me. I can't help but to give him praise. Come on. Can we just thank him tonight? Can we just thank him tonight? Can you just give him praise? Hallelujah. If you need a reason to praise him, Come on, let's go old school. Just think back over your life. Hallelujah. Think back over your life. Hallelujah. And how he brought you out. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I got a testimony. I can truly say I've got a testimony. Hallelujah. I've been tested and tried, but guess what? I came forth. Hallelujah. As pure gold. Hallelujah. Unsinged without a smell of smoke. Somebody say, God did it. I give him the praise. I give him the glory. <laughs> the Lord did it. Hallelujah. God blocked it. I dare you to say God blocked it. Come on. You got to open up your mouth and say what it is. Come on. Let's plant some trees tonight. Come on. Let's plant some new trees. Hallelujah. So they can spring forth in our lives. Come on. We're planting the word of the Lord as a seed. Hallelujah. Come on. And let your faith be your seed tonight. Allow your faith to be your seed tonight. Don't wait. If I was you, I wouldn't wait. Hallelujah. If I was you, I wouldn't wait. The enemy is not waiting for you. Hallelujah. Sickness is not waiting for you. Hallelujah. Defeat is not waiting for you. Hallelujah. I wouldn't wait. I wouldn't wait. Come on, give them glory. We know that when the praises go up, blessings come down. Come on, praise them and be empowered. Praise him and be lifted up. Praise him and be exalted. If you need a promotion, just praise him. Surrender to him. Hallelujah. If you're needing healing to manifest in your body, just praise him. Hallelujah. And receive it right now in the mighty, majestic name of Jesus. Somebody shout miracle after miracle after miracle. That's how we talk. Manifestation after manifestation after manifestation. That's what we believe. Glory after glory after glory. That's what we stand on. Dimension after dimension after dimension after dimension. That's what we declare. Power and more power and more power and more power. That's what we decree over our lives. Come on. I'm talking to carriers of the kingdom. I'm talking to everything that pertains to life and godliness on the inside of you. Come on, with boldness and strong confidence, it's on the inside of me. I don't like anything. Everything I need is on the inside of me. So I, don't, I can't back down. Backing down and quitting is not on the inside of me. Come on, I know you may have had a tough day. I know you had a challenging day, hallelujah. But how many of you know that God has the final say? And he showed up for you tonight to speak to you, to strengthen you, to pull you up out of that place, and to set you up on high. Somebody say, I'm sitting high right now. I may have felt low. I may have felt tired in my body. But I feel my strength come on, coming on. Come on, if you're at home, if you can move your hand, begin to punch whatever it is that try to knock you down. Punch it. Just punch it. Right now in the night, just give it a punch. Hallelujah. Come on. 
Plant your faith as a seed, hallelujah. Come on, just begin to punch it. Knock it out, hallelujah. Knock it out once and for all, hallelujah. You can't take me out. You can't bring me down. I'm a carrier of the king. I have the power and the anointing and the strength and the boldness and the fight of the Lord yes. on the inside of me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank the enemy Jesus. can't win. I don't care what it looks like, what it feels like, what it seems like, what it sounds like. He's a defeated foe. The Lord yes. has already won every battle that you'll even have to face. Come on. Where are my winners at tonight? Where are my trophies of victory? Come on. If you're a trophy of Christ, victory, say that. Come on. Let me see you share it in the comment section. Come on. Let's fill the chat, Hallelujah. Somebody write that for me right now. I'm a trophy of Christ's victory. Come on. Let me see the trophy. Let me see your love. Let me see your trust. Let me see your faith. Come on. Put it on display. Somebody say, I'm making your babies tonight. I'm, like, I'm premiering Christ tonight. Hallelujah. Hey, you stole back Thursday. Yes. When you pick up the goodness of the Lord and what, what he's done, he's done for you, for look back in your past, throw back yes. Thursday, and begin to give God praise yes. for what he's brought oh. for us. You can Woo. thank him for how he brought you out. Give you can thank thing. him for how he kept you yeah. and protected you. Somebody ought to be losing their yes. mind right now because yes. he saved your life. Oh, Hallelujah. That's right. Oh, when you give God praise. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. I see y'all punch. Guys are going to champion in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You are in this place. We thank, thank you, Lord, for this Bible study. We thank you that your word is flowing freely with power, authority, anointing Woo! in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we celebrate you, as we have this Throwback Thursday party, and we look back over our life, and we think about everything that you brought us through, we can't help but give you the highest praise on tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Y'all ready? Listen, there is no way, no absolute way that anybody should be able to keep you quiet. Because I know that the Lord has brought you through. I know that the Lord has not only brought you through, but he has brought you out. Somebody say, I'm making him famous. I'm going in Jesus' name. I'm premiering. There's a I'm premiering Jesus tonight. I see y'all already tapped in tonight. Hallelujah. Y'all already plugged in. Hallelujah. We we're knocking, we're we're knocking him out tonight in the first round. We're not tearing. We don't we don't beg the enemy to 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 to, to leave us alone. You gotta understand who you are. You gotta understand who. Is on the inside of you, living and breathing on the inside of you. The Lord Himself, the Lord Himself. Somebody say, the Lord God Himself is living and breathing on the inside of me. I cannot fail. Failing is not in me. If you feel the unction to fail, then you gotta you gotta go back and be built up. You gotta make sure that you're built up. Somebody say, I've got to listen. I've got to build. I've got to wait yes. and trust. Listen, build, wait, trust. Get that on the inside of you. Believe that this time that we come together week after week is necessary. The word of God is necessary. We've been saying this and saying this and saying this. You've got to believe it as necessary. Accept it as truth and apply it to your life. It's time to apply it to, to your life. It's time to demonstrate. It's time to demonstrate the spirit and the power of the Lord. That's how you make him famous. That's how you premiere him. Yes. That's how you project his image here on this earth. We're not just saying this just to be saying it. This thing works. Somebody say it works. I know that it works. Because he's got some of you looking like looking like pure gold and smelling like roses when like Lazarus, you know your stuff was stinking. You know that it looked like it couldn't turn around. You know that people had already called it dead and, and, and there was no life in it. Somebody say, but God. But God. Somebody say, Jesus showed up. Jesus he showed up on my behalf. Hallelujah. And he got rid of the doubters. All the unbelievers could not, no doubters couldn't stop it. Unbelief could not stop it. Negative word could not stop it. People speaking negative over my life. 
somebody saying, oh, don't worry about her. Don't worry about him, Jesus. He's already dead. You know, slow down, Jesus. Don't try to come save her. She's already dead. Just go do what you're doing. Somebody say, the devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. He had me on his mind. He had me on his mind the whole time. Who am I talking to tonight? Listen, be awake, trust. Don't lose your momentum. Don't lose your passion. Don't lose your drive. Rely on God. Keep moving forward. Keep pushing the word of God more than the words of man. Because guess what? If you continue to rely on the, man, the words of man, you'll lose your mind. Yes, you we talked about ungodly counsel. Yes, yes. You got to keep pushing. Let me calm down. You got to... <laughs> The kingdom of, the, of God suffered violence, yes. and it's the violent that take it by force. You can't just, God don't intend for us to just sit back and allow the enemy to continue to nag at us and to agitate us. He told us to allow peace to be our escort. Yes. He told us to speak to mountains mm -hmm. and tell them to move. You've got to open up your mouth and begin to speak. Yes. This is not the time to be quiet. You gotta believe that what we're saying is necessary. Yeah. Yeah. We keep saying this. You gotta accept it as truth. Mm -hmm. And you gotta apply it to your life. Yes. Yes. Why is this so important? Because when you don't believe, it'll cause you to be easily deceived. Somebody yes. shout deception. Deception. And before you know it, instead of the Lord showing up, mm -hmm. Deception has shown up. Yeah. Then we begin to do things like walking in offense and unforgiveness. Hallelujah. When you're walking in offense, mm -hmm. that's when you perceive an assault. Mm -hmm. you're, it's not real. You supposed it. It's made up. It's imaginary. You're you're not thinking with the mind of Christ. You're not you're not making a, a, a you're not giving responses. And then, it, uh, according to the word of the Lord, you're 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 bitter and anger, and, and, and it leads to strife. And we know that strife stops the blessings of the Lord, Hallelujah, from showing up in your life. And then you're you're dealing with conflict. And now, instead of operating with the mind of Christ, your your mind is twisted and warped and 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 and, and wicked. And now, instead of working for the Lord, you're helping the enemy of darkness. Mm. Because you've got to know that the devil's end goal is to try to convince you not to believe. Somebody say, I'm not backing down. I'm not backing down. Back down for what? I'm not backing down. He wants you to doubt the word of the Lord as true. It's my truth. It's, it's, this is my truth based on how you feel. If I don't care how you feel. If it does not line up with the word of the Lord, it is not the truth. He wants to convince you to say things through the lens of grief. Mm -hmm. He wants you to declare and come into agreement with, with situations through the lens of hurt, mm -hmm. to, through past hurt, through pain, through, through lack. Mm -hmm. Those are seeds from the enemy being sown. Yes. Yes. Not seeing things as God sees. Mm -hmm. It's very, it, it is very, very dangerous. To not believe. You, Pastor, you wouldn't believe. You would not believe how many people do not believe that God is real. Yeah. Do not believe that God exists. Mm -hmm. That's the problem, man. It's, it's true. There's a lot of people that don't believe. And they call themselves atheists. Um, and uh, some of them just say, I'm, I'm, I'm spiritual. But how can you be spiritual and not believe in God? Mm-hmm. And when you until you have a close encounter with God and an and, and, and experience with the most high God, until you hear the truth, you can't have this. And, and, and when you don't hear the truth, you know, you stay in unbelief. You stay in, in, in that victim mindset. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and here's the part. Here's the part that really, really just confounds me that people really don't look at. And, and, and I was just listening to you. People hear the word of God and they come up and they, and they develop their own truth. When you develop your own truth, that's based off of unbelief. Because your truth is based on how you feel or based on your emotions. 
And when the word is misused, let, let me say this. I'm going to hurt some people's feelings, but this is true. Come on, say it. Witchcraft is simply the misuse of God's word. And so when you misuse God's word to develop your truth, you're operating in witchcraft. Mm -hmm. And you're operating, you're deceiving your own soul. You're operating as an intellectual, emotional being. And the deception that the enemy has going on is so heavy right now. People are being fooled, they're being tricked, they're being frauded out of everything they got and who they are. They're tempted and drawn away of their own lust and enticement, and they have this twisted way of thinking. And this twisted way of thinking has caused so many people to walk away from God because of just the different things that's going on in the world, because what we call church hurt. If you if you're not getting the word and the and, and, and the word is not fulfilling to you, then it might be time for you to transition. You need to go somewhere where you're getting filled with the word and you're hearing the truth. Some of you just need to accept the truth uh, and, 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 and agree with the truth. That's one of the things that goes on, too. But, but we as believers tonight, we're going to believe this to be necessary. We're going to accept God's word, word as our final truth. God's word as our final authority, yes. and we're going to apply it. You're going to apply this word to your life and get results that will produce, manifest the kingdom in your life. Amen. Amen. Do I have any believers? Do I have anyone to agree with me on tonight on that? Amen. This Hallelujah. is the truth. This is, this is, it's so important as you were talking about things to come and things that we're we're dealing with and faced with in the world today mm -hmm. that we believe we've been saying this all year long we've been yeah. we've been talking about Noah all year long mm -hmm. and we've been talking about him as an example of unstoppable faith when mm -hmm. we're saying don't lose momentum don't mm -hmm. lose your passion mm -hmm. um uh, uh continue trusting God in the coming times and situations that haven't been experienced before because we know that Noah was told to build an ark yeah. even though it had not even rained. Mm -hmm. Somebody said build a boat for what? Yeah, build a boat for what? Build a boat for what? Stock up on supplies for what? Mm -hmm. Believe God for what? Uh, 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 get my finances, my family, and my faith in order for what? All of those things we've been saying over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Why is it so important? Why, when anytime the Lord continues to speak something over and over and over again, you need to really, really, really pay attention. Mm -hmm. Like Noah, it's going to be important to heed the warnings of the Lord in mm -hmm. order to survive the things to come. We told you that the things in the world are only going to get worse, but it does not pertain to us. It does not have to pertain to you. You've got to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You've got to think as Christ. you got to live as Christ here on this earth. And so you have to perceive things through the lens of God. Yes. So you're not going to look at those things that you can see. You're going to look to the things that you can't see. Amen. 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 And so you've got to allow faith to be the proof mm -hmm. of what you cannot see and what you hope for. And so that takes you defying your natural the, the, uh, senses. Yes. That means you can't be going on how you feel or, or what you see with your natural eyes because it's a spiritual journey. It is. And so if you turn to Hebrews chapter 11, now y'all stay with us tonight because we may go to a lot of scriptures. Mm -hmm. This is very, very, very urgent. This is Hebrews 11. There's so much going on, and the enemy is, is, is fighting and tugging at the mindset of the Christian, and you've got to remain stable. Mm -hmm. You've got to remain sound. Yes. And the word of God is the only thing that's going to keep you that way. Everything else has failed and is failing. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 11 and 7. Okay. And so... You've got to shift your thinking to the level of thinking like Noah had. Mm -hmm. the, the level of thinking that Noah demonstrated, I believe, shifted. It shifted, not I believe, it's proven that it shifted not only him, but him and his family yeah. Yeah. to the next level. Mm -hmm. 
Noah got his house in order. Somebody said, I got to get my house in order. Gotta get my house in order. He got his house in order. Mm -hmm. Some of us, we've got to literally gather up everybody. We got to, you, if God has called you to be that voice or that leader in your family, you got to get your house in order. Tell them, look, this is what the Lord is saying. And they need to listen, build, wait, and trust. Believe it as necessary, accept it as true, so that you can apply it to your life and get supernatural results. And so here in Hebrews 11 and 7, it says, prompted by faith, Noah being forewarned by God concerning events of which had, as yet there was no visible sign. There was no sign. He took heed mm -hmm. and diligently and reverently constructed and prepared an ark for the deliverance of his own family. Yeah. By this, Somebody say, his faith which relied on God. His faith which relied on God. He passed judgment and sentence on the world's unbelief and became an heir and possessor of righteousness. That relation of, of being right into which put God puts the person who has faith. Now, this is a lot to unpack here. It says that Noah was prompted by faith. So it was his faith that caused him mm -hmm. to move. It was his faith, the word of God, who is faith, mm -hmm. faith who is the word of God, mm -hmm. applied to his life. It, it, it caused him to move out. Mm -hmm. It says it, it got his attention. Yeah. And because of it, he was forewarned by God concerning events of which there had not been a visible sign. How many times have we been telling you that there are things to come, but God has continued to give us strategy and instruction for things that the world may have said would not happen or come to pass, and it has come to pass, and we were ready. Somebody said we were ready. We were, ready. We were equipped, and we're still equipping. Mm -hmm. And then another key thing here is it says he took heed. Yeah. How many of us hear or prompted by the Lord, the Lord warns us, but we, 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 we Listen, we don't take heed. Oh, I'll do it later. Or oh, it's not important. He says he took heed diligently, mm -hmm. not slothful, mm -hmm. not procrastinating. No. He says irreverently constructed. Mm -hmm. That means with honor, a reverential fear of the Lord and prepared an art. He did what the Lord told him to yeah. do yeah. to deliver his own family. Yeah. And it says by this, by this faith, mm -hmm. By this heeding of the warning, by his diligence, by his reverence for the Lord, his faith which relied on God, he was able to pass judgment and sentence on the world's unbelief, mm -hmm. and he became an heir of righteousness. Yes. He was put in right standing with God, the person who has faith, mm -hmm. where it all came from. Pastor, you want to come in there? That's, that's powerful. Uh, it's know. a lot in, in uh, that. Yeah. You know, uh, just him being being in a position where he just stepped out. He stepped out in, 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 in reverent obedience. He did not question God. Mm -hmm. How many times have you uh, experienced the promptings of the Lord? Don't, don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't turn right. Don't turn right. Don't turn right. Keep straight. How many times have you experienced the promptings of the Lord, and when you disobeyed, you found yourself in a situation that you had no business being in? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's good. No, Noah moved out in spite of what everybody else was doing. As the kingdom citizens, we have to follow the, the voice of the Lord and follow the instructions of the Lord in spite of what the rest of the world is doing. Just like we were giving instructions, faith, family, and finances, like you said, get your house in order. Get your finances in order. Why? So that when, when tribulation come, you have a buffer. You have something to fall back on because God has prepared you. And so Noah did that. He took heed without question. It, it, it's a time, we're in a time now where we can't question God. There's no time for questioning and guessing. There's no time for intellectualism it's no time for you and I to be in a position where you know we we want you know we 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 want small doses of God we only want them when we need them 
No, it's time to be exclusive with Jesus. Oh, Jesus. It's time to be exclusive <laughs> in this walk as a Jesus. It's time for us to be like Moses. In, in spite of everybody else, in spite of uh, 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 at least 10% of us, amen, let me go there. 10% of us should be willing to follow the voice of the Lord. Why? Because I, I said this was on that Thursday. Come when on. you look back over your life and Come you on. think about where God brought you from, you think about some situations and the circumstances that he got you out of, when you listen to the prompting of the Lord, you know and you have assurance and you know by experience that what he said shall come to pass. Mm -hmm. This is the faith that we're talking about. This is what we're talking about when we're saying believe it to be necessary. This is what we're talking about when you hear the word of God. You accept this as true. And not make emotional decisions based on your truth. Because your truth is based on how you feel based off of physical and material circumstances. Pride, you know what I'm saying. And, 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 and when you operate in that aspect, God is not in the equation. But when you begin to trust God like Noah, God, somebody say this, God is active in my situation. God and because God is active in your situation, all you do is win. Because God is active in your situation, back down for what? Turn down for what? Give up for what? Cave in for what? No, we're not doing that. Say, somebody say that with me. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. We got to trust God, amen. We can't lose the momentum. He's given us instruction. He's given us strategy. Some of you have been with us through this whole pandemic, and he's brought you through. Hallelujah. And he's brought you out. He's kept you. Hallelujah. He's kept you fed. He kept a roof over your head. I see people on here, business, businesses started in the pandemic. People were promoted on their jobs yes. in the pandemic. Yes. Why? Yes. Because you trusted the prompting, hallelujah, of the Lord. Yes. <laughs> this is where we at, y'all. This, this, this is where it is. Um, you said something there, Pastor. Let's talk about the Holy Spirit. You said that it's time to be exclusive. Mm -hmm. When I think about being exclusive, I'm talking about not pursuing other, other people, other partners. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about not pursuing. When, when you said exclusive mm -hmm. and you said it's time to be exclusive, I'm talking about not pursuing other partners. Somebody say, I have an unseen partner, the Holy oh, Spirit. God. Amen. That's on the inside of me. Come on. But you experience that because he's on the inside of me. Mm -hmm. I'm pursuing the Holy Spirit. I'm yeah, pursuing God. Somewhere now. Come on. And so, like Noah, mm -hmm. God spoke to, to God's he showed we I don't want to. Oh my God. No. God spoke to Noah. Mm -hmm. Today, we have the Holy Spirit. Somebody say, have the Holy Spirit. Have the Holy Spirit. Luke 17, 21 is what our church is founded on. The kingdom of heaven is, on, is within Ooh. us. And so today, we have the Holy Spirit on the inside of us. Yes. He's given us the Holy Spirit as a guide to teach us and to remind us mm -hmm. of all things. If you would just believe, we're talking about believing, accepting as, yes. as, 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 as true mm -hmm. and, and applying it to our lives. Uh, uh, if you would just believe me when I say that the Holy Spirit is real, mm -hmm. that he's living and breathing on the inside of you mm -hmm. to be your comforter. Somebody say, I have a comforter. I have a comforter. So I'm exclusive. <laughs> oh, on. my God. On, when you're when you're exclusive with someone, you're oh, you're 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 greedy with them. you don't want to share. Them. You just want to be with them all day long. Somebody say it's just me and you. Just me and you, Lord. Mm. You 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 comfort me. When, when, when you're exclusive with the Holy Spirit, you have private sessions of a you have a private counselor. Yes. Come on. Yes. When you're exclusive with the Holy Spirit, you, you have a helper, you have favor, you have some someone who goes out of their way to make sure that you that people go out of their way all the way to help you and to bless you. Mm. When you're exclusive, it's not about it. He, he has you on his mind. He, you, when you're exclusive with him, you have an intercessor. When you're exclusive with him, you have a way maker, somebody that's making a way for you, that's pleading your case when yes, you know you yes, don't deserve yes, it, yes. even when you're not right, because he loves you so much. 
Hallelujah. He goes in and he pleads your case. I'm talking about being exclusive. Yes. I'm talking about that you do this for me because you love me. Yes. We're in a relationship. Somebody say, we're in a relationship. We're in, relationship. We're in this relationship. Yes. We're exclusive. I got your back. Yeah. It's just, it's about you. me and you. When I'm talking about being exclusive, you got an advocate. Yeah. Somebody that, that goes and fights on your behalf. Amen. Yeah. That, that that goes in and makes sure he holds back the hand of the enemy. Mm -hmm. The words of the wicked one. Yes. When I'm talking about being exclusive, I'm talking about somebody that'll build you up when everybody else is tearing you down. Yes. I'm talking about not pursuing other partners. Mm -hmm. It's not shared. In the face of the Lord, you're in his presence. You are right in the shadow of the Almighty. You can't see nothing else. Like on Infinite Champion, they say you like that horse, you got on blinders. You can't see nothing else. It's just me and you, Lord. It's just me and you, Lord. You're standing by waiting to help me and to bless me. Somebody shout the Holy Spirit on the inside of me. We're exclusive. We're in a relationship. I'm pursuing you. I'm pressing after you. Come on, you started something here, Pastor. Teaching you all things. Yes. Causing you yes. to remember all yes. things. Reminding you of bringing, you said throwback Thursday, reminding you of all things that he's told you. Yes. What did he tell you? He said, peace I'll leave with you. Yes. Allow peace, he told us in the year 2022, to allow peace to serve as our escort. Yes. You need to allow that peace is here for you yes. to accompany you. You're in a relationship. Yes. He's guiding you. Yes. He loves you. Yes. He wants to do you good and make you happy. Come on. <laughs> he wants you to live the abundant life yes. of overflow, the good life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He wants you to be able to survive times that you've never experienced before like Noah. In peace, not unsettled, not uh, agitated and shaken. Okay. He wants you to be sheltered. Yes. To be, he, he, He's here for you to be favored, yeah. to be protected, to oh. be set apart. you got to continue to listen, build, wait, and to trust. Yeah. Yeah. He said this peace that he gives you is not like the world gives you. See, when you're in a relationship and you're exclusive, you get things that other people don't get. Mm -hmm. You're allowed into areas other people are not allowed into. You're in a place where the enemy cannot go. So you don't let your heart be troubled. There's no reason for your heart to be troubled. There's no reason for you to be afraid. Stop allowing things to agitate you. I'm, I'm in the scripture. Stop allowing things to agitate you and to disturb you. When you're in a relationship, an exclusive relationship with a comforter, a counselor, a helper, an intercessor, a standby, an advocate, a strengthener, a way maker. There's no reason to be unsettled. When you sit yourself before his presence and you're in an exclusive relationship, you trust him. You listen to what he says. You wait for his word to come to pass. Why? Because he watches over his word to perform it. So you build yourself up on his word because it does not fail. And you trust him. Why? Because you're in a relationship. Oh my God, let me... Somebody, you you Listen. you did this. <laughs> you did the, it. The, the person that's exclusive is mature. Oh my God! The person that's ex exclusive is mature, and, and 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 in that maturity, you don't allow twenty minutes of ecstasy or oh, here we an go. emotional high, pastor, to disrupt a lifetime of love. Jesus. And you realize it ain't it's it's it, it's not worth it. And and and, and so we 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 we're talking about y'all say this say I gotta say I, this is necessary. It's necessary. This is necessary. Oh my god. You know, when God was speaking to us on Sunday, we talked about you know the soul check and examining yourself and check up and check in. This is important, this is imperative that you it's are real. just you know because. You gotta check and see where you're at and, 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 and what you need to work on. Say I'm working on something. I'm working on something. And when you're working on it, you're continuously building that trust and building the relationship. You're learning how to listen, hallelujah, not listen to come back with a comeback on the defense, but to hear and understand what's being said so that the relationship can move forward. And somebody say this flow. 
flow. See, we got a momentum going on here with the Lord. And because we have this momentum, the momentum is keeping us in forward motion in the kingdom. It's, he's, he's, he's keeping us moving forward in him. And when you understand this, you talked about the Holy Spirit. This is so powerful. The Holy Spirit has come upon you to seal you. What does that mean, Pastor? I'm glad you asked. He sealed you with himself. Jesus. That says that God made you God over your situations, over your circumstances, over the things that you fear. And so because he's made you God over it, you need to stop giving these situations and circumstances your power because he's given you the power. When God spoke to Moses, he told Pharaoh, he, he told Moses, he said, he said, I've made you a God to Pharaoh. And what is he saying in the New Testament? I made you a God over your body. I made you a God over your finances. I made you a God over situations that arise in your life. I gave you the authority to call things that be not as though they were. And you somebody sitting up there with your body racking with pain. He gave you authority. He made you God over your body. You just got to be, be able to speak to it without fear. Jesus. So y'all want to call me crazy, but this is the truth. It's the truth. And until listen, until you realize who you are in Christ, you don't know Christ. Until you realize what the scripture, when, when you realize that the scripture was talking about you, when you put your place, your, your name in the place of Christ, you won't live this kingdom life that we're talking about. But you got to believe what we're saying is true. You got to believe what we're saying is believe. necessary. You got to have this assurance and get out of self. You got to accept this truth on tonight. I know I'm right and you can't prove me wrong. You can't prove me wrong because everything that I'm saying is in the scripture. He sealed you. Not only did he seal you, he gave you the Holy Spirit, as a, not only just to seal you as a guarantee, but he gave you the Spirit to guide you into all truth. So that means that nothing in the coffers of the kingdom is, is, is unavailable to you. Everything is available to you. But you've got to believe that it's necessary. This is the truth. So we have this exclusiveness going on with God, and this exclusiveness has, has, has taken us to a place where somebody say soul check. Soul check. I got to think about what I've been thinking about. I got to put myself in a position where I shut my mouth and yeah. listen. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to understand. Yeah. Not to listen to say, but God. And see, when God speaks to you, he always says things that's above your pay grade. He always says things to you that, that, that's above how your physical ability to, to do. And, and uh, I, I told you that we there's no more intellectualism going on. There's no more this short burst it's of known. faith or, or this it's short doses of Jesus uh, that's going on. You want them when you want them, but when you don't want them, you want to just, you know, dip and dab and be in the world and, and allow your emotions to get the best of you. No, no, this is necessary. It's time to believe. God, it's time to agree with God in his word. And I have total trust, full trust and confidence in what he said. And let his God, let him and his word guide you. Hallelujah. Let him and his word develop your state of mind because your state of mind, hallelujah, will present your state of being to the world. This is what we're talking about tonight. This is the truth. We got it. You touched on something. Sunday is um, the Lord spoke to us and talked about us being making sure that we're established. Mm -hmm. And we went to First Peter, I think it was First Peter five, First Peter five and ten. Um, was it First Peter five and ten or Second Peter? Let's see. Let me go there real quick. Let me make sure. Yeah, it was. First Peter five and ten. Yeah. Okay. You there? Mm -hmm. So he's telling us that after you suffered a while, he says that the God of all grace who imparts all blessing and favor, who has called you to his own eternal glory in Christ Jesus with himself. Complete and make you what you ought to be. Establish and ground you, uh -huh. and securely and strengthen you. Securely and strengthen and settle you. Uh -huh. So God is is settling us. Yes, He is. In order to be able to hear the Lord and to build, wait, and trust, you got to settle down. You got to 
settle your mind. You've got to settle everything. You got to somebody say, I got to bring it in. So that God is, is, is bringing resolve. He's, we told you he's making you strong. You, you've got to make sure you have a firm foundation so, so you won't be shaken. Mm -hmm. He's bringing stability. Somebody declare that tonight. God is bringing stability in my life. Yes. He's, he's bringing me security. Mm -hmm. There's people dealing with mental issues, as you said. Uh, uh, we, we're, we have an increase of mental challenges and anxieties. Mm -hmm. We're talking about uh, addictions. Uh, we're talking about uh, different situ situations and struggles. Yeah. We're talking about suicide. There's weightier matters yes. that are going yes. on in life. It's time to believe. It's time to quit playing and believe God for real. We're we're at a place where the world wants to win trophies yeah. without the fundamentals of life. <laughs> You're saying you're a trophy of Christ, but you 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 don't you can't just say you're a trophy of Christ without the fundamentals of life that the Lord says that we should have. And there's we need to be established in his word. So in order to do this, you've got to fight to fight this, you've got to accept God's word. In order to, to fight going crazy, you've got to accept God's word. In order for you to fight these struggles and these mental challenges and anxiety, you gotta fight, you gotta accept God's word. Because this fight is not with flesh and blood. No. It's with spiritual wickedness in high places. And the only thing that has defeated that is, the, is God and his word. You gotta stand on that. So what do you have to do? You gotta reject the world's methods. You can't work both systems. Hear me again. You cannot work both systems. You can't be on two sides of the fence at one time and expect to receive from the kingdom. The Bible says that a double-minded man, that person is unstable. We're talking about being stable. It says in all your ways. So you can't just dibble and dabble. Lord, I'm going to trust you for... I'm going to trust you for my finances, but I don't trust you for healing. I'm going to trust you for promotion, but I ain't going to trust you where tithing and, and, and sowing is, is, is concerned. I'm going to trust you in my marriage, but I, but I don't want you touching over here. And, and I'm spending too much. You've got to reject it. You've got to be single-minded. You've got to be sound. You've got to exercise some, some, some maturity and some discipline. You can't expect to receive anything from God being unstable and double-minded. The Bible says that. Yes. That's because anytime you neglect the foundation that's securing God, it causes you to fail. Mm -hmm. It will cause things to slip right out of your hand. Yeah. Right. Right. I'm going to go to this scripture really quick. Matthew 7. Uh, uh, because you, you know, you, you, you said foundation, and I was focusing on foundation, so we know that that's truly the Lord, surely speaking. And Matthew 7, uh, I'll start reading it while you go there for the sake of time. It says, so verse 24 is where I'm going. It says, so everyone who hears these words of mine and acts upon them, obeying them, will be like a sensible, prudent, practical, wise man who built his house upon a rock. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall because it had been founded upon a rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a stupid, foolish man. I didn't call you stupid. That's just that's that's the translation. Like a stupid, foolish man who built his house upon the sand. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house. And it fell and, and, and great and complete was was the fall of it. So now let me explain this to you. So he's, he's talking about he, a man who hears words of mine and acts upon them. He's like a, he's like a man who built his house upon a rock. Mm -hmm. Two things I want you to look at. The house. The house represents your life. The rocks rep rep represent your foundation. And so he's talking here about the man who who heard his words and built his house upon God's word. You see the you see the rock, the foundation. You see what happened when the rain fell, the floods came, the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall. It didn't fall. That's called having a firm foundation. Come on. Why can I say that? Because Christ is our foundation. Are you listening to me? And so my life. When Christ is the foundation of my life, living as Christ, amen, no matter what comes my way, the winds blew, you see it, the rains fell, the floods came, and beat against it. People beat you up. People 
called, called you all kind of names. You struggled and, 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 and you, you dealt with, hallelujah, the transition from one job to the next job. All these things took place. But guess what? Because Christ is your foundation, you're able to stand. That's, that's what he's saying. And, and he goes on to explain the situation of the one that does not, hallelujah, take his words and build upon it. That house is one who's, who's like a stupid, foolish man who built his house in the sand. And when the storms came, y'all know, when, when the situation arose, you said, woe is me. Why is this happening to me? Why, 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 this, why is this going on? Why is that going on? The devil is alive. How? Ask yourself, how did I get here? So, Ted, and where am I going? We have to build our lives on the word of God. Amen. Your, your, the, life of the life of the kingdom citizen, sons and daughters, has to be built on the word of God. And when we do this, no matter what comes, no matter how many pandemics come, guess what? We're Psalms 1 equipped. Psalms 1 equipped says this. Hey, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. So you hear what's going on on the news. You hear about the pandemic. You hear about this. You hear about that. But God is your source. So the news is, is, is not good. your counselor. That's good. Are you listening to me? And your Psalms want to quit so you can stand no matter what they say. You don't allow it to enter you and, and, and cause you to make decisions out of the counsel of the ungodly. Nor do you stand in the, in the way of the sinner. You don't get with a sinner and allow a sinner to tell you what to do. You don't come and agree with those who don't agree with God, don't accept God, deny God, reject God, and don't even care that you call yourself a Christian. Amen. That's not what you do. Neither do you sit in the seat of the scornful. You ain't the one that's, hallelujah, rejected what God has done for you. Hallelujah. Thought back Thursday. You were the one that remembers your past and what he's done for you. How? Somebody say, I made it out. Hallelujah. Out. How you made it over. Hallelujah. How he brought you through. Hallelujah. And so with that being said, your sons want to quit because God's word is your final authority. Why? Because you believe it to be necessary. You accepted it as your truth. Glory to God. You better take this. Hallelujah. But because this is where we are. This is what we're dealing with. No matter if turn tornadoes come, hallelujah, hurricanes come, no matter how hard the winds blow, hallelujah, because you know who you are in Christ Jesus, you open up your mouth and you speak from your inner man, hallelujah, and when you speak, hallelujah, the angels go into motion to bring the promise to pass in your life. Jesus. Somebody shout, listen, build, wait, trust. Listen, build, wait, trust. Yes. Pastor, this is so good that you went to that scripture because this is exactly what happens when you allow the word of God to be your foundation yes. and let them work in your life uh, versus a, a clear comparison mm -hmm. and contrast versus not working the words of God in your life. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the message, there's a different, uh, I want to read this message translation. Okay. I was looking at this while you were reading it. It's so good. It says, these words I speak to you are not incidental additions to your life. It's not incidental. Mm -hmm. It says, homeowner improvements to your standard of living. That's good. These words I speak to you are not incidental additions to your life, but they're homeowner improvements to your standard of of living. Mm. They are foundational words, words to build a life on. We're talking about a firm foundation, yes. found, firm foundation. Mm -hmm. It says if you work these words into your life, mm -hmm. you are like a smart carpenter who built his house on solid rock. Amen. Rain poured down, the river flooded, a tornado hit, but nothing moved that house. It was fixed to the rock. Somebody say, I'm fixed to the rock. I'm fixed to the rock. But if you use my words in Bible studies, are we in Bible study? We in Bible study. And don't work them into your life. Somebody say application, application, application. You are like a stupid carpenter who built his house on a sandy beach. When a storm rolled in and the waves came up, it collapsed like a house of cards. Are you kidding me? We talked about Sunday. The word came. And the explanation came about the teacher. Mm -hmm. The teacher who um, desires for um, their student to 
excel and to progress. And so any good teacher, let's think about the teacher as being the Holy Spirit. Because I told you he teaches you all things and bring things back to your remembrance. And so when you when you think about a, a, a teacher, a teacher has lesson plans. So we have a plan for life. This is our Bible. So there's a curriculum that's already been written. Y'all teachers, y'all know what I'm talking about. That is to set you up for life or to set you up. That curriculum is, is written to set you up to be successful at the appointed time. Before or before or at the appointed time. And every teacher writing their lesson plan has an objective. And so it's God's desire that we live and not die. Mm -hmm. It's his desire that we're healed and not sick. Mm -hmm. It's his desire, amen, that we uh, uh, have and enjoy life to the full and, and in abundance to the full until it overflows. It's his desire that we spend our, our life in eternity with him. And so you got to know uh, uh, uh when you're when you're talking about what you learn and getting understanding, that everything that you learn is cumulative. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? That means it builds. Mm -hmm. And so you're not just looking to get pushed around, but you're 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 a good teacher wants their student to get understanding mm -hmm. so that you can use what you learned. Somebody say build, build and build on it because. You're going to need this. So every step of the way that you go, you're going to need that yes. teaching. Uh -huh. Don't despise where you are you know, on, on that part of, of the path or journey that you're on. Amen. And so when you look at 2 Peter 1 and 5, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but it, it, it talks about mm -hmm. that we have everything that pertains to life and God. And it, then it goes on to say, so by them, it says, well, let me back up. I do want to read it. It says, through the full personal knowledge of him who called us by and to his own glory and excellence and virtue. He says, by means of these, he's bestowed upon us his precious and exceedingly great promises so that through them, mm -hmm. you may escape by flight from moral decay. decay. Rottenness and corruption that's in the world. Isn't that what we're dealing with right now? Because of covetous, lust, greed, and become sharers and partakers of the divine nature. Somebody say, I'm a partaker of the divine nature. I'm a partaker of the divine nature. And it says, for this reason, adding your diligence, somebody say cumulative, cumulative. to the divine promises, employ every effort in exercising your faith. You gotta, you gotta exercise your faith. You gotta build. You gotta build. You gotta build it to develop virtue, mm -hmm. excellence, resolution, Christian energy, and in exercising virtue. Now you gotta develop knowledge and intelligence, and then in, ex in exercising knowledge and developing self control. Now you're exercising self control. Now self control developing steadfastness, patience, and endurance, and then in ex exercising steadfastness. Now you're developing godliness and piety. And, and, and then from ex exercising godliness and, and, and developing a brotherly affection, now the brotherly uh, uh, affection is developing Christian love. Wow. Somebody say, I'm, I'm, I'm moving, I'm excelling. I'm, it's cumulative. Yeah. So you, you, when you get to that one place, you understand that place, and it takes you to the next place. Y'all stay with me now. And it says that whoever lacks these qualities is blind, short-sighted. Mm -hmm. can only see what's near to him mm -hmm. and has become ob oblivious to the fact that he's clean from his own sins. Mm -hmm. And so it says because of this, you can be more solicitous and eager to make sure, to ratify, to strengthen, to make steadfast your calling and election. For if you do this, you will never stumble and you will never fall. Somebody say it's time to not just get past to the next grade, but to get understanding. No more. They do it in the world all the time. We see it in the school systems. It's time to just to stop getting promoted to the next grade by man, but never getting understanding of God. That's why we, we, we that's a lot of what we see and we deal with in society today, even like I said, in the school system, in order to appease or to soothe flesh or to cater to emotion.
promotion, everybody gets a, 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 an award without responsibility or showing improvement or demonstrating understanding. We just giving out awards. We just make up stuff. The most likely to do this or the one that did that. And they don't even, it, it just making up stuff. It's time to stop making up stuff. And it's time to, 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 to look at the truth so we can identify where the weakness is, where remediation and tutoring needs to take place so you can get understanding. The Bible says in all you're getting, get understanding. And then not only can they uh, not perform on the level they've been promoted to, they can't perform on the level they left it, so they just keep getting pushed and pushed and pushed. And that's when they get to a point, that's when we see a society that's lazy, they have no substance, they don't understand things, they expect change, uh, 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 expect to change standards in order uh, uh, to what, and, and they want to expect change in standards in order to get what they want. They want, order has already been set and been established for their good, but because they don't feel a kind of way or they don't like it, they, they go on a campaign to change it and to get people to come on to their side to understand and agree with what has not been demonstrated or what has not been set aside for their good. And that's why we deal with a society that expects to only get and not to give. No work ethics. That's why they, they'll kill so easily and, and steal and rob and murder and lie and cheat. Why? Because they have an improper foundation. they just been promoted by man, hallelujah, but have no understanding of God. They have it right without no, no fundamentals, without no understanding. Wow. That's, that's, that's so powerful. And, 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 and when you were reading 2 Peter 1 and 5, and, and, and then you went down, you went down to about verse 10, that was a clear, unadulterated definition, biblical definition of momentum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It went from one progression to the next progression. It, it was did. constantly and cumulatively it was progressing. That's good. It started out with you having the divine nature of God That's and good. growing in it, growing That's in good. the relationship. And, 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 and that was so powerful, man. It just had me thinking and, 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 and just like, you know, really coming to the realization that this is necessary. What we're talking about, this is necessary. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe this is necessary, go back and read this in your own time and think about this. Uh, for so long, and I, I, shared, I shared this with uh, our, 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 one of our ministers, but I said, I said, we've been working so hard to get people and tell people the importance of living right but how are we going to tell them to live right without teaching them how to think right? Right, right. We haven't spent time teaching them how to think. And, and, and so the belief system is now twisted and wicked. And, like, and, 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 and this is why, like you said, it's so easy for them to rob, kill, steal, whatever. This is why they don't want to work or they, they don't believe in work. This is why they don't trust. But you and I, yeah, we don't have the proper foundation. But you and I, Christ, somebody said Christ is our foundation. Christ is our foundation. And because he's our foundation, hallelujah, we're in the process of taking on his divine nature and becoming, hallelujah, who he is so that as sons and daughters of the Most High God, we can operate in our royal authority and our exclusiveness that we have with Jesus Christ. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. This is good. This is good. This is so good. You want, we want to go on? <sighs> We've given them a lot. Let's see. Man. Holy Spirit. I, uh, I, let's talk about Noah just a little bit here. Can we just, what time is it? Okay. We don't want to overload. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're talking about listening, building, waiting, and trusting. Mm -hmm. And we know we 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 rely on the Holy Spirit. And so we 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 um the Lord as the Lord gives to us, we give to you. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we don't want you to, I believe that we've given you enough for you to go back mm -hmm. and, and really study. So when we come back next week. 
we'll get down into the specifics of okay. listening. Christina said we got to have a pop-up and add on to this. This is good. <laughs> Amen. Uh, so we'll next week, we'll get to what do, what do we mean when we say listen, build, wait, and trust? Go ahead and begin to do your own study. Rely on the Holy Spirit to speak to you. Mm -hmm. and, and, and just go back and listen to this message. Go back and listen to um, what's been said here this far. Mm -hmm. um, and just really meditate on that mm -hmm. and just be built up on it. We, you've got to make sure that you're in a place to listen that you're built up and you're building mm -hmm. and that you are waiting mm -hmm. and that you are trusting. There can be no other way. If you expect to survive the days to come, God is the way, the truth, and the life. This is the only way. I don't care what other people say. This is the only way. He says, no man can come to me, come to the Father except through me. He's the way, the truth, and the life. All the other ways have and will continue to fail. They don't lead to the Father. They don't, they don't glorify him. And so if you expect to survive this day, the seasons and the times that we're in and the things to come, you've got to believe what we're saying is necessary, accept it as truth, and apply it to your life. Don't lose momentum. Don't lose your passion. Don't lose your trust. You've got to continue to listen what the Lord says, be in a position to hear, continue to build, to wait, and to trust. And when we come back next week, you'll be hearing the voice behind the word. When you when you come on next week, what you hear should be confirmation or affirmation of what the Lord has already spoke to you. The work is not over when you log off with us. There, you, you cannot neglect your personal study time or, or, or replace this with your personal study time. What we do here is in addition to. So then you take what you've learned, as I said, add on to this, this, and to this, this, and to diligence, this and, and, and exercise your faith, develop virtue and, and exercise virtue and knowledge. That's what that scripture is talking about. Keep adding to it so that you won't be short sighted and so that you won't be oblivious and just unaware and sleep. It's time to make sure that we get to where God is calling us to be. Not just in a better place. Don't be content with being in a better place. But get to the prepared place. That place that God has prepared for you. Noah. And we'll talk about that next week. Yeah. Got to a place. Oh my God. y'all. He was, He got to a place. If it wasn't for him. We wouldn't be in this place. Because of the Lord. Amen. Amen. This, this is good. I, 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 you know. Yeah, I'm glad you stopped because you know we can we can go off. You know we'll 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 pull a um what what is that we used to do a shut in a, a seven day sabbatical. Yeah, um, we we need we need to bring that back. Yeah. You know that stuff that we were taught back when we were in in Colorado. We did shut ins and sabbaticals and I don't know. Yeah, um, I just believe that it's imperative that you. You all really begin to take your uh, relationship with Jesus Christ, uh, you know, seriously. Um, understand that this relationship is exclusive. Um, That's good. You know, it really is, you know, um, because for so long we haven't thought of it as us, the importance of us having an individual relationship with him, you know, uh, more so than corporate. This is why people can't sense the presence of the Holy Spirit without a crowd or they don't have the Holy Spirit dwelling in their house. They don't understand. No so, understanding. You know, because of lack of understanding, you know, you know, religion has you thinking one way when the truth has you worshiping something outside of self when the truth is he dwells on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. And so you carry the presence of the Lord. That's what that's what well, that's what Luke 17 and 21 is. Amen. The kingdom is within you. God's presence, God's power, God's authority. Is, is on the inside of you, mm -hmm. Amen. Um, so we're we're gonna we're gonna shut it down, Amen. Before we keep keep going, uh, we want to just before we leave, though, we want to offer salvation for those who uh, haven't made Jesus the Lord of their life. Uh, yes. This is an opportunity for you to join the family of yes. the Most High God. Uh, um, you, no matter what situation you find yourself in right now, salvation is for everyone 
who are, who, who are willing to uh, just really make this uh, step by faith based on what you heard. God loves you unconditionally, amen? amen. And he wants, to, he wants to just bring you into a place where you experience heaven on earth. Amen. Uh, so this is an opportunity for you. If that's you, pray this prayer with me. Father, Father I, come to you I come to you with a repentant, repentant heart. heart. I, come you, I come to you, confess it with my mouth, with my believe, mouth. It believe it in my heart that you raised Jesus from the dead. From the dead. Jesus, Jesus, come into my heart. Into my heart. Be, my Lord and Savior. Be my Lord and Savior. Live your life in me. Live your life in Manifest me. your glory through Manifest me. Your glory through I welcome me. you I welcome and I receive you now. I receive you now. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus name. Amen. 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 If you prayed that prayer, welcome to the kingdom. Welcome to the family of God. You know, old things have passed away and all things have become new. But at that moment you made that confession, you've been stripped of your old self, amen, and clothed with the person of Jesus Christ by way of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. So if you prayed that prayer with us, go to our website at www.thekohci.org, and when you go there, go to the tab that says connect with us, you'll see a tab that says I'm saved. When you, fill out, when you click on it and fill out that form and send it back to us, Pastor LJ and I will connect with you. And share with share with you what it is you've obtained and provide you with godly counsel to help you to maintain that which you've obtained and be transformed, amen, so that you can live as a kingdom citizen on the earth just as it is in heaven. Amen. 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 Praise God. We thank you, uh, thank you all for joining us on tonight. Don't forget to hit that share button. Don't forget to go back and look at this message. Amen. And uh, as you go back and look at the message, you can look at it on, on YouTube, Facebook. You can yes. even go to our website and you can there on our website. We have a beautiful website that you can check out also, amen. And so we can make every opportunity and every uh, path available to you so that you can get this word and help us to transform the world and amen. manifest the kingdom. kingdom, amen. We love you. We appreciate you. So, Father, we thank you for the gathering of the champions. We thank you that we received your word and grafted into our hearts forever, Lord. Lord, Holy Spirit, empower us to apply this word. And Lord, Lord, get results that will manifest your glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. We love you all. Have a good night. Amen. Thank you, Lord.